Hi friends, welcome back into this channel. I'm Angelo and I'm a coder and in this channel I'll talk about productivity and coding. And in this video we are talking about how to create an Instagram clone app in Flutter. If you don't know what Flutter is, you can easily find a link in the description with all the information that you need. Honestly, this video will not be a classic 3 hours tutorial line by line. I want to share with you how much is simple to create an app in Flutter for both platform iOS and Android and the entire process, the entire creativity process of an app. I spent 10 days to learn Flutter and I followed a course made by Angela Yu. If you want to follow the same course you can find a link in the description, you can easily find a link in the description, I will put there. By the way, if you don't have any experience in programming, maybe you will take a little bit more time, like, I don't know, 20 days, it, uh, it depends on you. But Flutter is a, such a great framework, so it's not a big deal. I structured the video in two parts. The first one is the design part, the second one is the coding part. So if you're not interested in design, you can skip easily to the second part that is coding part. In the first part, I will design the app using Sketch, just to have a guideline and an idea of how the result looks like. And in the second part, I transform the design in code. Instagram have a, such a beautiful design. The way the app works is completely insane. All the elements are studied to make the usage simple. Try to do better is pretty hard, but let's do it. I'm not a UX designer, but uh, I learned on the field how UX design works and which are the pillars of UX design. And one of the main pillars of UX design is understand how people use things and how people think. So, one of the main goals of my UX design of Instagram clone is understand how people use their phone. And the result is that so many people, a lot of people, use their phone with a single hand. So the main goal of this design will be guarantee an experience with one hand, the right one. Another thing to keep in mind when you're working on a design layout is to let elements on the page breathe. And the best way to do it is using what is now as white space, also called negative space, is the space between two elements. It can be blue, black, white, it doesn't matter. So in order to realize a good design, both in mobile and web app, you have to remember these three things. Research, test and white space. About the white space, you can find another link in the description with all the, info, with all the information that you need. Oh, and please designers, don't blame and don't flame me because I'm not a UX designer, but what I learned, I learned it in the field. So after a while, I designed a pretty decent layout in Sketch. Now it's time to code. The first things to do is one of my favorite problem solving approach. Divide e tempera. Before starting, this video is sponsored by Typewise. This amazing keyboard reduces typos by 74% thanks to larger keys and advanced algorithm that works 100% offline and they safeguard your privacy. If you want to give him a shot, the link is in the description and the app is available on both platforms, Android and iOS. Okay, let's go! So when you have a layout like this, it doesn't matter really, it doesn't matter if it's huge or small or medium, doesn't matter, you have to act like a surgeon. When you have a layout like this, you have to divide it in small pieces. This process requires a little bit of experience about how mobile apps work and how mobile apps are composed. So if we look at the design, we can clearly identify five different pieces of layout, like the headline section, the navbar section, the toolbar section, the gallery section and the story section. Too many sections. So we take a huge layout and divide it in five different layouts, mini layouts, small layouts, simple layouts. Now you have five different things to work on and to focus on. If you do this, you actually help yourself to focus on one single task per time, one single activity per time, one single feature per time. So you have to accomplish five different features navbar, headline, toolbar, gallery and story section to have a complete Instagram clone 
up ready. Now it's time to code, and when you start don't be afraid to dirty your hands, because it's perfectly normal, especially if you are approaching for the first time mobile development. One of the good practice I used to develop this Instagram clone app, and I suggest you to use when you will develop your own apps, is to um, centralize the code that you can reuse. Doing this allow you to keep your code clean, safe, reduce the amount of bugs, saving times and some other benefits. So this is a good reason to create multiple temp files in your apps for fonts, color and so on. Look at them like a color palette of an artist. Every time you need a color for a paint, the color is right there ready to use and you can apply the same concept centralize the code that you can reuse to a lot of other elements like widgets objects uh, uh, functions uh, and so on and another way to do it in uh, the instagram clone app is to centralize the code that draw the image of the gallery a way to do it is to centralize the code that draw the image and change the behavior of this uh, object so whenever the object will be draw you will pass what element you have your program have to draw so the code is centralized in a structure and the only thing you have to do and the only thing you have to complain about is to pass the right data to the object and the object draw herself if you want to download the source code you can easily find it on github i opened a repository on this platform and you can download and check out the repository for free and start your own app in Flutter. If you enjoyed this video, please, please, please hit the like button and tell me in the comments if you enjoyed this format and if you want to see more video like this. Also, if you have an app that you want to restyle, please tell me more about it and I will do it for you. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.